Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to check out the Armory system which will launch with the Deadlands DLC update 32. The DLC launches sometime in November. There is already a guide on ezo-hub.com under guides and then the Armory in-game build saver. I'll put the link in the description as well. It explains all the things there are to know and also a step-by-step -step guide. It's all here. If you're interested in other stuff the DLC brings, check out the DLC section, Deadlands. I'll also put the link in the description. You already have all the new sets listed up here and all the new furnishing items. And we will also be adding like a zone overview, the collectibles and all that stuff. Link in the description as well. <clears throat> so the armory system contains of two pieces, the armory station which can be placed in your house and the armory assistant, which can be summoned, for example, in Overland, kind of similar to how the banker works. And the system is pretty much straightforward. First, the armory station can actually be obtained for free. You go to the crown store, furniture special, and you can get it here. Once you have it, place it in your house interact with it and now you have your builds you can also unlock so every character gets two free slots kind of like the outfit system if you want more you will have to purchase armory slots under upgrades armory slots so i have three setups here one is called ezo-hub.com one is called alcashq.com and one is called dwemerautomaton.com this one there is nothing here so you can save your slottable champion point perks attributes the weapons poisons all your abilities and your gear curse whether you're a vampire or werewolf only thing missing here are the Mundu stones, right? So you still have to manually swap your Mundu stones. A main reason why I think they actually didn't put it in here is because they want to keep selling those juicy Mundu stones. I'm on the public test server. On the live server, they are a lot more expensive. I guess that's fine, honestly. Other than that, the system is really juicy. So down here you have equip build, save build and build settings. Settings lets you choose a name for the build and then also an icon, whatever you want. So it changes here. Now we can save the build. Are you sure you want to save over at WeimerAutomaton.com? Accept. But then you have successfully saved WeimerAutomaton.com. Now all my perks here are slotted or like the the slottable champion points perks attributes my weapon you actually can hover over the items and it shows you what is like what it does pretty cool kind of similar to what we do with the ezo hub cool tips and stuff like this equipment the peasy curse none outfit one Here I have a slightly different build. So the main difference that I want you to know is that you actually also can change morphs. So here I do have cauterize and here I do have forward momentum. Cauterize, forward momentum. Now we go to the armory station and we choose a build which has the other more flames of oblivion and rally. So I can equip build you, success, you successfully equipped AucusHQ.com. And now you see I have Flames of Oblivion and Rally. So I don't have to go to like a, a main city to actually change my morphs anymore. And this alone makes it worth it, right? Because the me for myself, the biggest pain was always, oh, okay, I'm playing PvE. Now I want to go play PvP, but I need different morphs, I need different champion points slottables, I need different gear, I need different attribute points. That's like one button press and you're ready to go. So you don't need 15 minutes to swap all your stuff. You don't need to spend gold 
to actually change like the slot, the bills, morphs and all that stuff. It's all for free. And that's why I really love this system. So it's basically perfect. Except for the Mundo Stone. And there's a few things like, yes, you can't use it in a trial or in a arena. But that only really affects the like the progression players. Most people don't swap gear mid run anyway, so it's a small trade off. So yes, it could be a little bit better, but it's still 200 times better than what we have now, which is not nothing, right, on the live server. Secondly, that award, the armory assistant, Russia Rock. So you have to buy. Rock, 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 rock. What's his name? Crush. You actually, under upgrades, assistance, you have to buy him, and then he will be found in collections. Assistance. You can obviously place the assistant in your home too, but you also can summon him outside. Once summoned, you can talk to him armory and you will have the same things here that's basically the whole magic of the system i don't think i forgot any anything we don't know the prices yet but they probably will be similar to how like the banker is priced and so on but it's cool the armory station is for free for everyone this is a base game update so you don't need the newest content to actually like get this it's just for free I like this a lot, especially for players that don't play that often, which often can't remember what kind of gear they had equipped, right? This is a godsend. Also, fuck ups like things, oh, I changed two of my like jewelry pieces, but I forgot the third one and I don't notice till the raid is over, won't happen anymore, because you can just swap back and forth. This really helps. <clears throat> of course, you like race change is not in here, obviously, and the Mundo Stones. These are the only two things a little bit miss. Because for PvE and PvP you might want a different race, but hey, that's like very far fetched. Most races work both for PvP and PvE. So this is really great. Let me know in the comment section below what you actually think about this. Other than that, make sure to check out ezo-hub.com. All the things are here. You can also see what the pledges are. The endeavors are all listed up. We have a lot of really good content on this site. If you need builds, check out augusthq.com. All the juicy builds are here and a lot of more other stuff. Vemerautomaton.com is the Discord bot that we have. Make sure to check it out. I also do have a Twitter, Facebook. We have a huge discord community server where we always announce new content and so on and if you have any questions i would recommend catching me live on twitch.tv slash because it's the easiest way for me to answer questions obviously don't forget to subscribe on the youtube channel here and we see us pretty soon cheers